Alright, so we're at the train station again. So many trains on this trip from Japan. I feel like a human tambourine. She literally hit my head. Today we are going to Nagano and we it's gonna be a two hour train ride from here in Tokyo to Nagano. But the cool thing is is we have first class on the bullet train, so I am super excited to see what it's like having first class and to see the bullet train. I've never been on a bullet train and I've never had first class anything. Except I did get first class in detention one time, but I don't think that's an honorable thing. That's not as funny as I thought. Okay, we'll cut that one out. All right, now we're officially out of the hotel, checked out, and on to our next location. We found the bullet train. Okay, this is not ours, but that's the bullet train. Bye, Tokyo. See you soon. So at first, they cleaned the train before we even uh, get on. The crew that was in there cleaning, and that was here first, bow. Uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess we're taking off. Look, look at my knees. Right here, I got so much room in between my knees and the next uh, chair. Really comfy chairs. You got a little pillow for your head. I think it's adjustable. Yeah, it is. It's like zippers. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty inventive. Got a little light. Somehow you turn on. Two power receptacles. The bullet train in Japan, also known as the Shikanzin, is the fastest and most efficient mode of transportation in Japan. One of the most common ways to use the trains in Japan is with the JR Pass, which for a one-time fee allows you to travel through a lot of Japan. But just so you know, it doesn't work everywhere. And unlike anywhere else in the world, the trains are almost always on time. In one rare case when it wasn't, Japan sent out an apology letter. And this was when it was only five minutes late. The trains are the best way to travel Japan. And with that, you'll need something to do. That's why I love this Wi-Fi device from iVideo. For more information about the bullet train, the JR Pass, or the Wi-Fi device, check out the links in the description. Uh, all right, we're here. So let's go check out the town. <laughs> Can I carry your bag, sir? <laughs> Here's our hotel. All right, so this is Nagano. The main reason we came here to this city is for the snow monkeys. <laughs> um, we'll be doing that tomorrow morning. But so for right now, we're gonna go walk around, check out the city, and get something to eat. Hopefully you guys see something entertaining. I see some people right here, they're looking at me, so I wanna say hi to them. You guys wanna say hi? So this is Nagano. Where do you go when you're young, when you're restless, when you're fun, cause you're desperate, oh. Here they come for a chance, for adventure, what's your poison, what's your pleasure? about there being a lot of snow here 
since this is a place that gets a lot of snow and there is tons of snow right here right in this general location <laughs> so yeah there's not as much snow as that we thought there would be which is good it actually is gonna snow the day we leave so not too bad um, all right so we finally found a place to eat it is one of the most traditional places to eat in all of Japan is a tradition for everybody to eat on Christmas Eve it is none other than KFC it's a tradition to eat uh, KFC on Christmas Eve and it actually sells out like lines and lines out the door so I'm sure most of you are thinking one thing. What is it like traveling Japan speaking only English? Well, it's interesting. We haven't gone through the whole trip yet, so we'll see if this changes. But right now, I feel like it's not hard at all. Um, when you purchase things, the, the amount is on the screen. Uh, it's pretty easy to understand. Once you understand the currency, it's pretty, and that's pretty easy to pay, pick up. US dollars, it, it's almost around 100. Yen is one dollar, so you want to buy stuff, you usually just point to it and then the person speaks to you in Japanese a bunch of words that you don't understand, but you just shake your head yes. <laughs> and usually you end up getting what you want, so uh, there hasn't been a problem yet, but we'll see if, um, if that changes throughout the trip and I'll kind of update you as it goes along, you know, especially at the end of the trip. Uh, so just wanted to let you know. So right and just got out of the elevator. Now let's go check out this room. What the? Todd? What the? <laughs> a room with two beds, a bathroom, and a massage chair in the room? I cannot believe it. No joke. I, I am... We didn't even know it was going to have a massage chair in the room. A best, you are the best. So we got some switches up here for the lights. Little mini fridge. Door right here. It's weird. It has like this little step to walk up to get to the bathroom. Um, inside the bathroom, once you do step up, it's very small. Like really, really small. I could manage this. This isn't too bad. There's probably smaller ones. The first hotel we had was actually way smaller. So this is actually pretty, this is actually fine. I, I don't see any problem with this. Not bad. You can survive in here. You can make it work. Ugh. Step is kind of annoying though, but whatever. Vietnam. Vietnam? Hey guys, how you doing? Woo! 